Christine Connor with the Maley Scott Designs. Today I'm going to show you something you can do in your home to help you save about 500 bucks a year so you can go buy more stuff from our website. Our newest pattern out on our website is Applewood Farms. It's this cute little child's quilt with all the little old McDonald animals. You got the duck, we got the little horse that goes nay nay. Got the little red barn, little piggy. Oh, pig's cute. And um, just all kinds of cute things. So go to our website, check that out. That's Applewood Farms. And today I'm going to show you how you can save $500 in, with your household budget. So let's join me in the kitchen for this one. We have four adults living in our family, and I am constantly going to the grocery store spending $10, 11 12 $13 on teeny tiny little things of laundry soap. And I'm going to show you today how you can do your laundry for $10, $20 a year. It costs us about $20 because there are four of us, but if there were only two of us, this would cost me about $10 a year. I would have all the laundry soap I need. Here is what you need for your supplies. You're going to need a 4-pound, 12-ounce box of Borox. It can look like this or it can look like this. You find it in your laundry soap department in your grocery store. Then you're going to need some super washing soda. Um, all this stuff is like three, four bucks. Um, you're going to find that in your laundry soap department. Then you're going to need some pure baking soda, Arm & Hammer baking soda. You find that in the kitchen aisle. You want a four pound box of that. And then you want to find some of this soap called Fells Nap Naphtha soap. It's a laundry soap. Uh, that people used to use to wash their clothes. Now, it should be in the laundry aisle, but I actually find mine in the soap aisle um, because I guess the stalker thought soap goes with the soap. And then if you want to, you can add a little thing of OxyClean, one or two of those things. The OxyClean is a little bit more expensive. I made it without, I made it with, but the whole thing is, um, you, you, you can do, it's, it's optional. So once you mix all these ingredients up, you're going to use a scooper. This is a coffee scooper. That's all you need to wash your clothes. A heavy load of clothing would take one scoop. When I make my soap, this entire container will be filled to the rim with laundry soap. It will last me six months because all I'm using is this little tiny coffee scooper. There are no fillers. So all I'm getting is pure 100% soap that washes my clothes. And people, this really works. I put in my kids' dirty brown white socks. That's an oxymoron. Their socks were white, they got them dirty, they were brown, and they've come out white from the laundry. So let's get started. So what I've done is I've taken the borax and I put it in two bowls. It's a little bit easier for me to work with two bowls. Some people like to work with um, a big bucket. I should probably go out and buy a bucket, but I'm too cheap to do that. So I've dumped my borax into two bowls, and, and I had two boxes here, um, but you only need one box. That's four pounds, 12 ounces. Um, I had two half open boxes, so I combined them, one in one bucket, one in the other, to make the one box. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my super sodas and my baking sodas and mix those up between these two bowls. Sometimes this stuff comes out in big old chunks, so you're going to have to take a knife and kind of break it up. Or if you get impatient like me, you can put the lumps and the big old clumps in a baggie and you can just break them up on the meat pallet. It's probably the easiest way. Usually that's much better than doing it with a knife. Alright, so apparently I have misjudged my container. I'm going to need to actually get a big container. Let me go find a bucket. If you don't have a big huge bucket like this, you can always take a trash can and line it with a plastic liner. I'm lining my bucket with a plastic liner because it's dirty and I'm too lazy to clean it out. Guys, I'm a very busy woman. I don't have time to always clean and do all this stuff. So I'm getting ready to dump my bowls. When you dump your bowls, when you dump all this stuff into a um, a bucket. You might want to just cover up your face because all that laundry soap throws a lot of dust and stuff. It's not bad, it's all soap. You just want to kind of be careful with it. You can see all the dust that come, goes everywhere here. Ooh, there it goes. Ah, don't want to breathe that in. There we go. Ooh. I 
Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my OxyCleaner in the container. I bet you it's safety sealed too. Of course it is. There's my OxyCleaner. Oh look, somebody gave me a scoop in one of the containers. Cool, now I have a second scoop. Awesome! <laughs> Alright, so here's the only part that I can't stand to do, but you know, hey, it's it's I'm saving myself $500. I'm going to take a grater, I'm going to take the soap that fails nap, nap the soap, and I'm going to grate it. Alright, the hell with grating. You can take a big knife, and you can take a cutting board, and you can put the soap on your cutting board and just cut it with a big knife and then run it through your food processor. I think that'll be a lot faster. Please don't cut your finger. You know, I don't think soap's bad for your knife. I mean, we run our knives through soap all the time, right? When you use a knife, it just kind of falls apart. After you food process it, that's what it should look like, all nice and fine. And then just dump that in your bowl. All right, now I'm gonna take a big old spoon and I'm gonna stir this all around. I get a coupon too. How cool is that? <laughs> all kinds of stuff in my laundry soap today. Stir it all around. And there you have it. Half a year's worth of laundry soap if you have four people. An entire year if there's just one or two of you guys. Saved you 500 bucks. So I ended up making a container and a little portion of another one with this batch. Um, here is the recipe. Leave that up there for a second. I'm also going to post that on our website on our freebies. It will not be out this week, but it'll be out there in a couple weeks for you. And um, anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoy my savings for you. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.